Hey guys, in this video, I try out not one Pile PD-78 mic, but two. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing Memorial Day weekend. So I ended up, as you guys know, buying the Pile PD-78 and was so impressed by it that I went ahead and bought a second one after talking to my buddy Nick Williams and making me jealous because he ordered two and I figured I need to get a second one. So that being said, a few months ago, I went ahead and ordered the Fredman, whatever you call this thing. So you basically attach two mics to this mic holder and the whole thing with the Fredman, the Fredman um, theory, <laughs> after he had done so much research as far as mic placement goes, he figured that this is the best angle to point two mics uh, when you're just using one speaker. So what that does is it allows you to clip on two mics like so. And what ends up happening is one is supposed to face the center of the cone and the other is just at a 30 degree angle from there. But here's the issue that I have faced. After trying it out, apparently, as the story goes, one is supposed to be straight into the center. I don't like the way that sounds because it's too harsh. And when I say harsh, it is non, it's just fizzle, sizzle, and it's way too, it's just too much. So what I did was I actually have it pointing to the cone's edge and then this one stays in its 30 degree angle. And it sounds so much better that way. Uh, and believe it or not, I feel that when using this method, it actually sounds better with these two mics than when you're using one pile and the Shure SM57, which is right here. And again, they look exactly the same. No difference other than the fact that this one probably weighs a hundred grams more than these. Uh, these are light and this is just really, really heavy. Uh, the short SM57. So for all of those guys who are going to listen to this, just know that when you go ahead and use these two mics separately on two different stands and you have them placed in the same location beside each other, what ends up happening is you are then able to go ahead and because I have a mixing board, I can adjust the EQ so I can have one that's um, that has more low end and then the other has more high end and that's how you can vary the two tones. Um, that being said, and the EQ being right centered, when you're using this Fredman uh, attachment mic holder, you don't have to adjust the EQ at all. It actually, because one is pointed closer to the center cone, that one's gonna naturally be much more higher uh, pitch than the second mic is. Um, so again, I use these two mics. They both sound exactly the same. When I use this, it actually naturally sounds differently because of where they're placed. So don't write in the comments, yo, why do they sound different? Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. All right, let me go ahead and plug all this thing, uh, all this up. And I'm, I'm going to be using my 1991 ESP M2 Custom 
Oh, the M2, because I have two of them. The one that has the Seymour Duncan dime bunker, because I like that uh, pickup. All right, let's plug it in. Okay, guys, I'm back. And so I'm actually using my Mesa triple rectifier using the Mesa 412 with V30s, uh, both mics on one speaker using the Fredman uh, mic holder which are at 30 degrees, one straight, the other at 30 degrees. The one mic is at the cone's edge and the other is just facing right into it. And let's play. So I'll go ahead and play using one mic and then I'll switch to the second and then I'll play the rest of the video with both playing. Both recording. What is up guys? So I'm back. Okay. So here's a question for you guys. Would you rather go ahead and buy two sure SM57 mics for a total of about 200 bucks? Or would you rather get two pile PD 78 mics that I bought one for 10 bucks? I think it was 999. The second one was $14.99 because supply and demand. And uh, by the time I got it, it was just $5 more. 
So no big deal, $25 investment, two microphones. And you know what? If one dies, wah, wah, yo, I've definitely spent more on coffee for two or three people than I have for one mic. So, you know, if they were terrible, that would be one thing, but the pile 78 is actually really good. And I think when they, when they went ahead and designed it, they had, I don't know, this is just my take. I bet they had metal in mind because the short SM57 has been a staple of metal music for years, right? For decades. With that, if you're a company that's trying to mimic a very popular mic, you're going to do hopefully some research and try to figure out, okay, well, if this is the overall most popular mic, how can we make it better? So let's listen to what everyone says about the SM57. And if you want to take it a step further, as a research and developing, you know, if you're the head of a research development company or um, uh, department in this company, you're going to realize like, hey, they actually want it to be a little more low end, not so high pitch where it's almost like you're cranking the, the um, just the treble to, you know, three o'clock when you don't need it. Um, so let's go ahead, cut back some of the treble and let's add some more little extra mid and much more on the low end. Voila, we're going to go ahead and price it at $10. Uh, <laughs> so did that happen? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, but they did such a great job with it that that's kind of the only thing I could possibly come up with is that someone was just like, let's try to make it actually better and let's do some research and see if we can. And they did. And it sells for 10 bucks, not a hundred. So, you know, like I said, if it dies, who cares? Dude, go and go and buy another one. They're that good that for a hundred bucks, not that you want 10, but you can buy 10. If you buy them now when they're $14.99, you're not going to be able to buy 10. Wah, wah. So big deal. You'll be able to buy six, um, <laughs> which is still absolutely incredible. Dude, 15 bucks for a mic that to me and to a lot of guys who watched my last video uh, with the, uh, when I first bought the uh, Pile uh, PD-78, people were just like, dude, I actually like it more. And you know what? I do too. Shocking as that may be, I really like it a lot more than the SM57. They look exactly the same. The weight difference is, you know, it's probably not a hundred grams. It's probably, you know, about 35 grams. It's enough that you can feel that there's a difference, but by no means is the pile lightweight at all. Like there's definitely weight to it. It's just that the SM57 weighs a little more, but ultimately I don't care what's inside. I just want to know that it actually works the way they manufactured it to be. And like I said, I like it more than the Shure SM57. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and buy yourself a, a, a pile a PD78. And if you don't like it, I will buy it from you for 10 bucks and free shipping, of course, just like Amazon. All right, guys. Hey, listen, thank you so much for watching. Guys, again, we have passed 2,500 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you. It has nothing to do with me. It's the fact that you guys have gone ahead and liked the nonsense that I tend to create. Uh, but hopefully it's informative. And if you like this video and I made you laugh without having to tickle your nutsack, then subscribe to my channel, jerk. And again, hopefully you guys are having an absolutely amazing Memorial Day weekend. Uh, there's another video next, uh, which I am featuring 
um, which will be my next Jackson. So stay tuned to that. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll talk to you guys soon.